Good afternoon. It's been a minute. It's Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball. It has been a minute since we have talked about Amber Portwood. We did a stream on Monday following her recent uh, episode on Teen Mom OG. There hasn't been a lot going on with her legal case as her next court appearance is not scheduled until a pretrial hearing, which she actually doesn't even have to attend, which is on August 22nd. However, there was a motion filed in family court pertaining to the custody case related to her baby James with her boyfriend, Andrew Glennon. In the motion, which was filed in an Indiana court yesterday by Andrew Glennon, he is requesting that he will move with baby James to Malibu, California. So he is asking the court to approve his move to California. Amber Portwood, for her part, has up to 60 days to respond to these to the motion or to object to the motion. If she does not respond, obviously he can move. This is a request to the court for moving is common when a custodial parent is requesting to move out of state and they have an active custody case or custody agreement in the state. So a, a lot of questions here are, can he actually do that? Can you move when you're in the middle of a custody battle? So the answer is you can. In the state of Indiana, according to Legal Beagle, anytime a parent intends to relocate, especially when a move is out of state, the parent must notify both the other parent and the court that issued the initial custody order. Under Indiana law, a notice must be served no later than 90 days prior to the move to allow the other parent the opportunity to file a motion of objection. The parent planning to relocate must prove that the move is necessary and is in good faith, not simply just to prevent the other parent from seeing the child. The parent objecting to the move must then show that relocation is not in the child's best interest. What the court will actually consider, according to Legal Beagle, is how far the new residence will be from the other parent's home, whether the parent as well as the grandparents will be able to see or have a meaningful visitation with the child, whether the parent or grandparents will suffer any financial hardships in attempting to have visitation with the child, the reasons for the relocation and the other parent's reasons for objecting to the move, and whether the relocation is an attempt to keep the child from the other parent. So a court will, be, will then rule on whether or not this is going to be approved and they will determine if it's in the child's best interest, will the child suffer from the relocation, and they will consider whether or not they grant the motion from the objecting parent or if they will approve the move by the custodial parent. So can he do this? Yes. Should he do this? I don't know, this is weird to me. Like they haven't even gotten through the legal case. So at this point there hasn't even been justice served or um, a conviction in the case against Amber. Thus far there hasn't been a permanent custody. There hasn't been permanent custody really determined that, that I can tell. She has supervised visitation with the court I don't know how you would do supervised visitation with the court if you're in another state. And he is the custodial parent, so theoretically he could file this. However, there's still an active criminal case against Amber related to the July 5th incident. And whether or not he would have to testify and be a part of that is not known. So, Amber, I mean, Andrew clearly is living in the house that, it, that Amber Owns, and Amber probably wants to get back into her house. Andrew has no ties whatsoever to Calif to Indiana. He is from California. So it's more than likely that he is hoping to move back to California with where he has support from his family and his friends, being that he has the reason why he was in Indiana was because that's where Leah is. Amber's daughter from her previous relationship with Gary Shirley. 
So part of me just, why is he in such a rush to go now? Maybe it's that he needs more help. Maybe he wants to be able to work and he doesn't have resources to, to do those types of things. I can understand in one breath why he would want this. He probably wants the help from his parents um, to help with James. It's not easy to do uh, single parenting, especially when you are not from the state in which you're living. He has only lived there for like two years now. He probably doesn't have a very big network. He hasn't worked there. All of his employment and work that he had been doing previously in the entertainment industry was in California. So it would make more sense for him to move back to California for him to get back to work. But, and maybe he believes that the case against Amber will result in her being incarcerated, which it theoretically could because she is facing multiple charges at this point. Three felonies, which all three of them could land her in jail for up to two and a half years. Whether or not the judge decides to be nice or not, she could face anywhere from two and a half to seven and a half years in prison for what happened on July 5th. So there's a lot of questions here on whether or not this is actually good or not. I'm sort of torn here. I kind of feel like when you have a baby with someone, you don't move out of state of where that other parent is going to be. Perhaps he has a feeling that the custody against her will be terminated due to maybe her mental health or maybe he knows something that we don't related to the criminal case. If she goes away for to prison, she would still, after she's released, unless she, her custody is terminated by the court, still be granted visitation with her son. So the mom in me is just, I'm torn. What, it doesn't seem like it's in the best interest of him, James to be removed from his entire family that he has lived with in Indiana. But at the same token, it doesn't seem fair either for him not to have access to the family that he has in California. And I guess the court will have to determine whether or not from a employment support and family standpoint, if this is a better decision for James. If you're interested in sending a super chat, hit the button on the bottom next to the smiley face that looks like a dollar sign. So legally he can do this. I feel like perhaps if I were in his shoes, I would wait. I don't know that I would do this as, because we don't even know if she'll be convicted. And unless you know that she's going to be convicted and you don't know whether or not, like, they haven't stated that her parental rights are terminated or anything like that. You don't know that she's going away. She hasn't clearly said that she wants to give him up anywhere in the media. However, on Instagram, she did post something a couple days ago that I noticed that I thought was kind of interesting. Nobody really posted anything about it in the wider media, but I noticed it. And now after I'm seeing what he did... I do think this makes sense. So she posted this on Instagram. Which says, my God, this hurts worse than anything. And that was posted on two days ago. Before Andrew before Andrew actually filed the motion with the court, he would have had to notify her that he was going to file the motion that is a requirement in the state of Indiana that the other parent is given notice ahead of time that he's planning to file this motion. So she likely knew that by Wednesday that he was planning to file this motion in court and so that would make this to make sense. My God, this hurts worse than anything. And to be honest, like I, as a mother, would be devastated if my former spouse did the, or spouse or partner did this to me. Um, I'm not a fan of parents separating children from other parents, but maybe he knows something I don't. I don't know.
it's a very difficult situation and without all of the legal ease and knowing what's going on in the case, it's hard to form an opinion here. But I wanted to get this out to you because I know a lot of you are following the story and I wanted to see if you had thoughts and maybe you can give me some of your insight or maybe you have gone through something like this and you can share those in the comments. I am always open to hearing about this kind of stuff. As much as we can be frustrated or um, agitated with Amber for what's happened. She is still legally his mother. And so that part, like that mom part of me feels like we should probably, he should have waited. But I guess that's my, just my opinion. Clearly he's the one that has to take care of James. And if he doesn't have support or work in Indiana, maybe that's why he feel like, feels like he needs to leave. Clearly, more than anything, we should take this as notice that this relationship is 100% over. If he is planning to leave the state, they will not be rec reconciling. So what happened on July 5th was the culmination of a very messy breakup. So tell me what your thoughts are and if you've experienced this or you know anything about this and what the probability of something like this can actually happen, I, would, I am all ears. I will be back later with more from Without a Crystal Ball. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.